Hey guys, welcome to Little Mouse Advanced Weapon Tactics. Today we're here for another episode, and today we're going to be doing a bunch of range episodes for you. The next few episodes are going to be all range, and uh, today we're going to be figuring out if a pellet gun is lethal. So uh, it's going to be pretty cool. We've featured a lot of these pellet guns before, and we got the new Beeman Kodak Times 2, which shoots 22 and .177 caliber. So we're going to see what they can do today against our new main head. I'm interested to get started. Little Mal presents Advanced Weapon Tactics, the weapons review show that tests the lethality and destruction of various cultural artillery. Will this week's weapon be powerful enough to destroy our new main heads? Find out now. Do not try this at home. All right, so we got Matthew with the Chinese 22 caliber pistol, and he's going to go ahead and shoot that skull. Whatever. Yep. Okay, so we have our first shot. You can see a little bit of lead on the skull right here. But nothing, that guy is pretty, he's pretty alive. It might hurt a lot. It's close to the eye, you could poke his eye out. But other than that, this guy is alive. And we shot him point blank. Uh, what would you have to say about this hit, Matt? Okay, so, I was definitely a little disappointed there. I thought we might at least, you know, see the BB go into the silicone skin. But, as you saw, it just ricocheted, so I was a little bit disappointed there. Do you think if we keep shooting it, we're going to get any other results or not? Maybe with the bigger guns, probably not with this thing. Okay, so we got the Chinese B3 rifle here, and we're gonna go ahead and see what this can do against our new main head. So give me countdown, man. E R so. Okay, so we got right under here in the mouth, and this guy is alive. It didn't even do much more than this. It's pretty uh, surprised about that. We're gonna give it one more shot for good luck. Ready? Yep. And again, we got here, it scuffed off a little bit of the paint, but no real damage. Okay, so we're gonna try with a Eugen pellet, and these are uh, like 38 grains or something ridiculous. So we're gonna see if this can do even more damage. Countdown. E R so. Okay, so it appears it did a little bit more damage. You can see a little bit more staining on the silicone, but again, this guy is 100% alive. We're gonna go on to a bigger gun. E R so. Okay, so yeah, I don't think that it just got some skin damage, but the skull is intact. So uh, we're gonna give it another shot. Try to get more dead on. E R so. Alright, so there was our shot. Once again, it smudged off a little bit of the paint and um, really no visible damage. So I'm very, very surprised. I thought we were at least going to get some, you know, lodging in the silicone in the head. But unfortunately, we weren't able to get that. It looks like it's just ricocheting off the skin, which is definitely a disappointment. So this is the Beam and Kodak, and it is able to go through six layers. I got three cans in there, so two layers on each side and it goes through all six of them but not really our silicone and I'm wondering why um, but yeah I've killed you know I think you can kill like a small squirrel or small game with this but not really that human and uh, it just shows you how strong our Ming heads really are so uh, it can go through all six of these so that is pretty powerful but uh, we're gonna try um, the uh, gamma silent can and see what we can do All right, guys, so we do have some enlightenment here on our skull, and uh, I do think it hit about here in the teeth, so it probably broke some of his teeth in, and you can see it's kind of squishy here, you know what I mean? And uh, get, get the blood. All right, so you can see the blood streaming out the back. I think the BB was fortunate enough to actually go in there and break our blood bag, and boom. Anything on the bottom? Yeah, so we see a little hole here. I don't think... Yep. Oh, this might be the exit. Okay, so we might have an exit wound right here. It's very small. You probably can't see it. But that's a possible exit wound, and that's probably where the blood was coming out. So if that went all the way through, that is very, very, very impressive. All right, so we got me and Matt. We're going to go for a double shot against our uh, Ming head. So uh, let's get to it. Okay, so it's really hard to tell where our shots are hitting on the head, so we're going to go ahead and cut it open and see if any BBs are actually inside. Okay, so we cut open our skull and you can see the blood right in there. We're going to go ahead and pour that out. It's 
So go, so go ahead and tell them what we got here, Matt. All right, so inside there you can see the pellets. So we did actually get penetration. Very, very nice. Okay, so with the Chinese B3 rifle, I was the only one that shot the Yujin pellet. So we do know that that did penetrate. And also this. Um, I'm not quite sure what, from what this one penetrated in. Probably the, the Kodak. And uh, if you can see up here, there is a wound right here. And then this is where we shot the front of the teeth. And that's just pretty devastating. It just went through. It was so hard because the, the silicone doesn't really show the exit wound, you know what I mean? It doesn't really show where it hits. It just kind of seals back up almost like a recuttable mat. But it's actually able to go through that. And that's pretty thick stuff right there, as you can see from the missing pieces. And um, there are no exit wounds. So over here, it might have just, uh, you know, broke a little bit, but I don't think it went all the way through. But that is pretty devastating. I do think that you could, you know, shoot someone's teeth out with these pellet guns. And uh, that's what, kind of what we're seeing here right through the teeth is where these are getting shot. What would you have to say about that shot, those couple of shots, Matt? Oh, well, I'm definitely impressed that we got some penetration and the pellets actually went in. I was a little bit disappointed that we couldn't actually see that, though, until we cut it open. So I'm glad we did cut it open. But um, really, really glad that we got that penetration in there. And I think you could definitely knock out someone's teeth, like you said, with this. And definitely you could screw up someone's eye really bad if you shot them in the eye. Okay, so now we're going to test the back of the skull. We're going to go ahead and shoot it up a little bit and see what we get. Okay, so where we shot before was the teeth. And uh, we weren't specifically shooting for there, but uh, that's just where it happened to go. And uh, that's the weakest part of our skulls is the teeth, just because like real life. You're gonna go through the teeth pretty, pretty easily. So um, yeah, it's pretty easy to knock out a tooth, and I do think that these can knock out a tooth. But we're gonna see if this can actually crack a skull portion of the, you know, Ming hand. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and shoot the back of this skull and see if we can get some penetration. E R so. Okay, so we do see a shot right here, and you can see an indent right here. And it is a little bit squishy, so we're gonna go ahead and see what it did on the inside. And yes, it did go through. It didn't go all the way through, but, you know, here's the pellet, it stopped right here. But it did crack the skull pretty bad, if you can see in there. Uh, I don't know if this would be a kill, but it would definitely be a concussion, if not some hemorrhaging. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot it with the, um, the um, gamo and compare. Okay, so we got Matt with the gamo, and we're going to be comparing that against the uh, Beeman Kodak to see which is more powerful. So go ahead and shoot the back of that skull, Matt. Okay, so here is the pellet that I shot. As I shot it into the back of the head, I actually saw it fly back to where our other pellet guns were laying. So there you have it. Okay, so we hit about the same spot right there on our skull, and we got about the same damage. As you saw, um, the pellet actually ricocheted back towards my way. Thankfully, no one got hit. And uh, show us what happened on the inside. Okay, so if you can see in the corner, point to it, Matt. Uh, now get your hand out of there so they can see. Uh, yeah, it's about the same uh, amount of damage. So we're going to go ahead and shoot both again to see, um, you know, test it a little bit different so that we hopefully we get some different spots. Okay, so we have a little squishy spot right here and it did go in. Um, can you see that, Matt? Yep. So it did manage to go all the way through and hit the other side of the skull. You can see the other side right here. So that's pretty powerful. We're gonna go ahead and see what the gamma can do. All right, Matt with the gamma to compare to the B-Men Kodak. All right, so there you see, it did actually crumble up a little bit of the side of the head. The Til impact of the blow. Tilt it a little more, the other way. You can see some light kind of shining through it. 
right there. And it did do a bigger hole than the, um, the Beeman. Okay, so there was actually no damage, no visible damage on the other side of the skull, just that one side where you saw a little bit of the skull break off. Yeah, and with the Beeman, it was actually able to damage both sides, so that's quite a bit different. We're gonna go ahead and do the Chinese B3 to compare. All right, so we got Hu Jin pellet, and uh, we're gonna go see what this can do. That's on. E. Are so all right so there you have it there's the exit wound and uh, it didn't go through the silicone on the other side but the Ujin from the Chinese B3 is pretty powerful um, these all three of these rifles are comparably around the same as far as of effectiveness um, but yeah that's pretty good okay so we went and removed the skin from um, our skull and it just busted through that nose pretty pretty badly busted right through the orbital of the eye you know they say that there's no bone behind the eye but there actually is a small bone and there's a small opening but uh, that just busted right through that like it was nothing and uh, that's pretty powerful these are pretty damn thick what would you have to say Matt Oh yes, definitely very impressive when we actually take off the skin and see how damaged that skull is. It is really, really, really beat up. And I'm very impressed by the damage, actually. Yeah, that is pretty powerful. Actually, we even see a uh, pellet right here in the nose. And that is one of the Beeman Act. I mean, actually, this is one of the uh, Platinum pellets. So this came from um, the Gamo. So that lodged right into his uh, nose, but it did stop, it didn't go all the way through. And uh, that's kind of what I believe bone would actually do. And it's just breaking the bone in the areas that it did. And certain areas it's able to stop the pellets, but uh, I'm very impressed to see what this can do. There you have it. You've seen what our pellet guns can do against our Ming heads. They completely destroyed it. And these are just, you know, most of them are the ones you can get at Walmart actually. But, uh, the Gamma and the Beeman you can both get at Walmart. The Chinese B3 is $50. You have to buy that online though from China, but uh, all three of them were effectively able to kill our target. And uh, I do believe you can potentially kill someone with a pellet gun. Um, maybe it's not gonna be a one hit kill all the time. I don't believe, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, no, definitely uh, not. It depends on where you hit them in the head, but you, uh, you know, like the teeth, I do believe you could puncture someone's tooth, break it right out and uh, as you can see, like the nose area, I do believe, you know, your bone would be able to stop the pellet. But again, even if it does stop the pellet, you're going to need to get that pellet surgically removed, especially if it's lead, because lead is toxic for your body. Um, but, you know, you would never want to assault someone with a pellet gun. You would only want to use it for self-defense. We only advocate self-defense on advanced weapon tactics. But if you ever needed to defend yourself with a pellet gun, I do believe that it is possible. Although I knew, um, you know, it could possibly potentially get you killed because if they do survive it and they come after you, you could be dead. So a firearm would be obviously a better choice than a pellet gun. But I'm just saying, if this is all you have to protect yourself or a hunt game, you know, and uh, you can you can you can hunt game with this as well, um, which would be a, a little bit more effective um, at killing, you know, like a squirrel or something. You know, put some food on your table just just what you need, if, especially if something goes down, but effectively, it destroyed this Ming head. I, I'm just impressed. I'm very impressed as well. You see it, like, it's not, like Adam said, like Little Mouse said, it's not a one-hit kill, but if you shoot it up four, five, six times, you're definitely gonna get a kill. Even if it's in, you know, the eye, the teeth, you will definitely get a kill, or at least they'll be on the ground, they'll be hurting, they'll be out. Yeah, you can decapacitate your target, even if you don't kill them. So this could be a less than lethal option if you don't want to kill, you know, let's say an intruder in your house or something, because uh, you can't get in trouble depending on where you are. But uh, yeah, th these are pretty effective and, uh, you know, at first I'm like, oh wow, this video is going to suck, you know, I didn't even go through the silicone, you know what I mean? But when we cut it up, it shows you. And uh, that's why you really got to get it surgically removed because it'll go in and it'll stay in and you're not going to know where that pella is. So it would have to be, you know, remove, um, you know, 
preferably by a doctor if you got hit with one of these. I would not want to get hit with any of these, but uh, I don't think the pistol did much of anything. I don't no. think that went through. But at least our three rifles, you know, they were able to go in. And uh, I can't really say which is more powerful. They're all pretty damn good. But, uh, they're all right around the same range. But uh, anything else to conclude this video, man? Definitely very impressed when we actually took off the silicone skin and we saw the damage done to the skull. You know, we were shooting it up and really no visible damage, but then you saw the pellets get lodged in the skull. They were in there, so I think that would definitely screw you up, put you on the ground, if not kill you. So very, very impressed by all of our pellet guns today. Yeah, and uh, pellet guns are fun to shoot in your backyard. Um, don't shoot them at people, obviously. And uh, you can have a lot of fun, you know, shooting cans and different stuff like that, um, targets, you know. And uh, it's a lot of fun in a lot of places. You can even shoot it in your own backyard. So uh, it's really fun. And uh, I love all of shooting them. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, close the video, Matt. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see something tested on the show, please leave us a like. Please comment also if you have suggestions for the show. Or if you just want to say, hey, you guys did a really good job, then go ahead and write us out a comment. Little Mal loves seeing that. I love seeing that. Yeah, you know, we love comments seeing section. comments. I reply to every single comment. So if you comment, you will hear back from Little Mal. Possibly Matt from Not Studios from his channel. But uh, yeah, you will hear back from us. So also share the videos with your friends, your family, anyone. You know, it really helps out when you guys do share these videos because, you know, that's what makes us big. That's what grows this channel is you guys. And we really appreciate when you guys share your videos. So thank you once again for watching this video. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, make sure to subscribe, guys, because, you know, without you, you're nothing. And uh, the channel would be nothing without you. So uh, I thank you guys a lot. And uh, make sure to subscribe, guys.